My name is McKenna Regan. I am the communications manager on this team. Uh, this is the Solar Decathlon House. Purdue is actually being represented in an international competition that happens every two years in Washington, D.C. We put in a bid two years ago in April 2009 to be a part of this project. And when we did the initial proposal and got accepted, we realized that we already won by being one of 19 teams that are competing in this elite competition. So what I'm standing in right now is Purdue's house. It's called In Home, which is short for Indiana Home. We are the first team to ever go from Purdue and also from an Indiana school. So we wanted to represent the Midwest well by our design of the home and by the name as well. So let's take a look around and kind of show you some of the unique features of our house. Our house has a very Midwestern style. When you look at from the outside, the only thing that really looks different than a normal home here is the fact that it has solar panels on the roof. This house is powered by solar panels. We have 36 8.64 kilowatt system on our home. What this means is that we bring in the electricity, it goes into a central inverter, and then we either bring it into the home or we take it out to the utility company. So we're grid tied. We don't use any batteries to store the power. We just either use it or sell it back to the power company. Right here is our bio wall. One of the students on this project, his entire thesis is based off of this right here. What it is, is a living plant wall that actually, it uses food sources such as VOCs, volatile organic compounds, uh, that new car paint smell or new paint in the home. That's what VOCs are. So formaldehyde, benzene, it uses these sources. It waters itself and is very low maintenance for a homeowner to use. These plants can be found anywhere um, in the local store. So using something like this actually purifies the air and makes the home safer for a homeowner. We also have a control system. This control system is very easy to use. It can monitor when you use your um, electricity at higher times and it will also give you suggestions of how to regulate your use. Also, it has the local radar on it. It gives you a weather forecast. You can check all of that out right here from your own thermostat. We have 1,086 square feet of decking. We have a large west porch, which I'm standing on right now. When you think of decks, you should think of shading. Shading allows for direct heat to not be against your siding and also high temperatures to not be right against the home. By doing this, we actually are being more efficient by not having to fight those outdoor temperatures as much. Also, when you see this home, you should see all the efficient systems, but you should see that it is practical. Most people think of solar homes as spaceship-like or maybe a little more futuristic. This home looks like a Midwest home. We wanted to do this so you could see you don't have to give up your modern comforts and amenities to live here. You can live the way you are, but be more sustainable and also not have that electric bill every month. This home, as you can see, is a real home. It's something that you would expect to live in and you would want to live in. So keeping that in mind, we actually decided that we're bringing this home back to the Lafayette area and we're going to have a real family live in this home. So someone is going to be a part of this house forever. It's gonna go in the Glendale Acres community in Lafayette, and we hope to kind of do an outreach, but also do continued research in this home in the years to come. So keep a lookout for it, and maybe one day you'll see one just like it in your neighborhood.